Like who? Like goats. <laughs> so next up, with Kayliana telling you things you never knew about goats. Give a big round of applause, please. Um, I had these friends who lived on a farm when I was like 18 who had goats and I went to their house and they were talking about their goats. I was like, aren't they really dumb and don't they like eat tin cans and stuff? And they were like so offended and appalled. They like sat me down and gave me this like whole lecture for like half an hour about goats and how amazing they are. Um, so, and ever since then I've been um, obsessed with them. Um, so, they were one of the first domesticated animals about 10,000 years ago. Um, the Latin name Capra comes, and uh, it's Sorry, Capra is the Latin name for goat. Um, and that's where we get capricious from, which means whimsical and quirky. Um, obviously, they're very talented. They ride on motorcycles. That one went to Afghanistan, the one on the You're right. Um, they're very intelligent and curious. They're great climbers. Um, they're just they're very interesting animals, apparently. Um, accents. Goats have accents. Um, Researchers found that um, when they start, when goats grow up and start moving out of their family unit, their accents change. Um, and they're one of the few mammals in the world who have accents. So if a goat from America and Australia got together, they could like make fun of each other's accents. <laughs> <laughs> they have crazy eyes, they have rectangular pupils. Um, so they have like almost 360 degree vision, and which helps with night vision and peripheral vision. And it helps with predators. Um, and they're not the only ones who have this, but their irises are so pale that it shows up, so like it makes them look kind of freaky. Like you can really see the pupils there. Um, climbing. Goats are excellent climbers. They love to climb. They can balance on anything. This is a bunch of goats in a tree. Um, their hooves are like really specially designed for like amazing climbing. They're like hard on the outside and then have soft on the inside, and then they kind of like fold over so they can just grip onto anything. Um, they can climb up vertical walls. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is an old version. But, um, I had a picture of goats climbing on a vertical wall. Um, and what else? And it's really hard to keep them in because anytime you try to put a fence up, they just find a way to climb over it and like escape. So if you own goats, that's the biggest expense is fencing because they're just going to destroy you. Um, house pets. Uh, goats make excellent house pets. You can housebreak them. Um, they, come, they can teach them their name and they'll come when they're called. Um, they walk on leashes, like you can train them to do anything. But um, a friend of mine in Australia had a goat like in the suburbs and he like was doing some work on his house and left the ladder up and the, when he came home from work the goat was, had climbed the ladder and was on the roof. So there's some risks with having your own pet goat. I'm sorry, uh, devils, goats have always been, or the devil has often been depicted as a goat, um, mostly because goats are associated with like debauchery and like Pan from Greek mythology was half goat, half man, and he's associated with the Bashir. Um There is a border town in Texas that's voted to have a goat as their mayor for like three times in a row. So um, goats are like, you know, taking over the world. So one Texas border town at a time. Um, and this goat was really famous for being able to, not this one, but the one who was mayor, for being able to drink 40 beers a day. And the town loved him so much that they made him a mayor. Um, so, goat cheese, goat milk. Um, a lot of things are made from goat's milk, like butter, yogurt, ice cream, soap, solutions. If you're lactose intolerant, usually you can handle um, goat milk products because the molecules are smaller and easier, easier to digest. Um, so one of the things in researching this, I discovered I'm not the most goat obsessed person in the world. There's an entire line of fashion t-shirts dedicated to goats, apparently. Um, and I love the women's t-shirts come in like baby doll sizes and I would have thought that like wanting people to think you have a nice body and like being obsessed with goats for like two different things but apparently they come together um, every once in a while. Goat cheese obviously named after the, the beard on the goat like coming out of their chin. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there have goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Like people have this image in their head of a goat chewing on a tin can, and there are a lot of old cartoons. Um, they're very picky eaters. They won't eat anything that's spoiled or like rotten. Um, the reason you would see them chewing on a tin can, they're actually attracted to the smell of the glue that's used on the label. 
and that like smells like food to them, so that's why they do it. Um, goat lore. Um, goats are very popular characters in a lot of folklore and mythology, and they're, they have different roles. Sometimes they're good and bad, sometimes they're dumb, sometimes they're clever. Um, but they've just always been very popular, sort of like fascinating, you know, creatures in different folk tales that they keep coming up. Um, scapegoat. The word scapegoat comes from, um, in Judaism, during the time of atonement, they used to take two goats and metaphorically put all the sins on these two goats, and one would get killed, and the other one would be allowed to escape out into the desert. So that's where the word scapegoat comes from. Um, what else? The curse of the cubs. Um, so this guy who owned the Billy Goat Tavern in Chicago, he brought his pet goat to a Cubs game. And all the fans were complaining because the goat smelled really bad, so they got kicked out. And when he was leaving, he was like, put a curse on the Cubs. And he said, you will never win the World Series. And it's been 103 years, and they've never won the World Series. So don't mess with goats. The moral of that story. Um, so, Oh, they mow lawns. So now it's like an environmentally friendly alternative to um, lawnmowers. People are having like lots of goats come and um, eat the grass. And this is either Google or Yahoo. Like a lot of big companies are getting into this. Um, so that's me chasing after goats. Um, I went to Mongolia over the summer and um, there's tons of goats there. And I was really excited and I went to like run up to them and pet them and hang out with them. But every time I tried that, they would um, run for their lives and like get as far away from me as possible. So they don't like being chased, is what I learned. Um, and that is the full extent of my knowledge about goats. <laughs> question so everyone can hear. Fainting goats. <laughs> no, there's a certain type of goat that when they get really scared, they it's like a defense mechanism. So it looks like they faint, but that's like their response to like terror and they fall over, but that's just the little ones. When they get older they like figure out to like spread their legs so like they don't fall over. They just like, like <laughs> But yeah, it's a certain breed of goat that does that. <laughs> it didn't make it into the presentation, but I kind of saw that. Yeah. Why did that go why did that goat go to Afghanistan? Oh, I don't know. I just looked at the Google images. I just didn't have time to look up why. They have goats in the military. I'm just not sure what they're doing there. <laughs> but that goat was with the, um, the UK military deployment to Afghanistan. I can get back. If you leave me your email, I'll look it up. <laughs> Any other questions about goats? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so the, the goat that you chase in the Mongolia, how many men and how, how many how many males and how many females that goats gotten, are chasing? Had I gotten close enough to see them, I could, I could answer that question. But they really like headed for the hills the second I got anywhere near them. Oh, I don't, I don't think you can tell from a distance. Unless you... I heard a story that in, in the Chinese one, they compare that usually they put only one male goat and surrounding by hundred of uh, female goats. Oh, I know. Portion. If they're getting milk out of them, you have to separate the male and the female goats because the male goats smell so strongly, it'll actually, the milk will start smelling like the male goat. So they do, if they're milk producing goats, they do have to be separated. And again, I couldn't get close enough to ask them what they were what they were doing in Mongolia. So I don't know if they were milk ones or meat ones or what. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just <laughs> um, no, there were like herders out there. I think if they like got to know you, then they. <laughs> I think if a stranger was running after you, you'd probably run away too. So it's just like this weird stranger that they weren't. I'm assuming. I don't. We do like one or two more goat questions. <laughs> Get your goat questions out, people. This is the time yeah. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain more about the accents? It's just um, like the same way that humans have accents. They just like they're 
you know, it's called bleeding, the way they tell, you know, that like ba sound they make. Um, so whatever sound they make when they're younger, when they get older and they start moving out of like their family unit and go with other goats, they pick up the accent of which other like group they're in. So they, they do, it took a while, but they did finally, like, I don't know who was researching this and who was paying for it, but um, they did discover that like goats did have regional accents and very few animals in the world have that. Do goats switch accents <laughs> yeah. depending on company? Yeah. I, I have no idea. That's a great question. Um, I'll write to the funders of that study and see if they can pick out a little more. Can goats talk to sheep? No. They sound like goats, but I'm not sure. They hang out together. They like put goats and sheep together, but I don't know if they're stuck on things. <laughs> Awesome. Goats. <laughs> Round of applause for goats. <laughs>